Hello my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my first novel, Chessmen, Opening Moves. It's about the royal guard of the planet Chissia, and how they must flee their own home to protect their infant princess from a plot that threatens their whole solar system. What makes them flee? After the queen died in childbirth, someone murdered the king and framed the royal guard, who later become the chessmen. How all of that unfolds is a truly wild ride for a space opera type story, and I'm not about to give any major spoilers, but who are the chessmen? That much I will tell you. The chessmen are a diverse and powerful interstellar team of heroes. All of them are loyal to the bone and will give their lives for the princess. The leader of the chessmen is a man named Dar Macabon also known as the Falconer, for his bond with a mystical falcon called Circe. More on her in a minute. Falcon is a lord-class elemental, in that he can control the form of elements and weather. He can fly with great agility, that he has to use quite often. He's a fair and caring leader, with an underlying rage like lightning. He is responsible for bringing together most of the team as they are. Circe is a mystical falcon of unknown species. Dar found her injured near his village one day and nursed her back to health. She bonded with him over this and won't leave his side. Circe is a mid-range magic user with some decent spells and magical attacks. She is often the team healer. She is so much more than even a mere magical creature with her level of intellect. On top of all that, she's in love with Dar. You have to wonder how that will work out. Circe isn't the only one befriended through injury. When Dar found the four-armed, three-eyed alien badly injured on a mountainside, he took the poor fellow back to the palace to take care of him. Helshred suffered a severe head injury and speaks of himself in third person. The bladed gauntlets were on him when he was found and could never be removed. Helshred is a devastating fighter and a short-range teleporter. Of all the chessmen, he is the most loyal. He is of a race called Terramors, and they're not native to Chessia. How did he get there? Well, you'll have to do some reading to find that out. I assure you he has quite a backstory. Next, we have Viro, the living cosmic virus. He is forced to live in a containment suit, but can emit strange pheromone-level viruses that do nearly anything he commands. He can melt metal, poison any living thing, rot wood, or on another level, he can heal and repair substances and people. He lives with the dread responsibility that breaching his suit could kill an entire world. He can even focus his power to intense energy blasts. Viro's partner on the team is Haley, named for the cosmic shield he carries. Haley is the only member of the team from Earth where he originally found the comet shield. With the shield, he can fly with the power of a comet and smash through starships and asteroids. The shield can even emit a powerful blast that can take down Starcraft. Haley found a home with the chessmen and will never leave them. Major Zero is one of the team's most powerful members. He's a cumulative mimic of powers and natural abilities. If he is near a hundred men, he is as strong and fast as all of them added together. It's like this. If all those men can run 20 miles per hour and Zero mimics them, he can run 2,000 miles per hour. If they can all lift 100 pounds, he can lift 10,000. He copies powers as well and has an improved form to the original. He's cocky and boisterous, but a super addition to the team. Messiah wields the power of faith. It is the only power on the team Major Zero cannot mimic. Faith allows him to do incredible feats that defy description beyond what you'll read. He can heal wounds and stop forces of nature in their tracks. He can amplify his friend's powers. Along with that, he is an accomplished martial artist. Messiah is also more likely to give a person a chance to walk away rather than fight, but make no mistake about that kindness. Messiah will go into battle with the best. Finally, we come to Stark Raindale from the planet Amnath. He's second in command of the chessmen, and 
an accomplished military tactician and sniper, but he carries a powerful secret that involves one last member of the team. That is a spoiler far too good to reveal, but I will still tell you about Daxian, the Venger Angel, an angel of vengeance. Well, all I'll say is he's big, powerful, and lesser beings run at the sight of him. So take a good look at him, because you'll have to read to find out the shocking connection between him and Raindale. Along their journey, they are hunted by terrible enemies, like Victor Darksong of the Darksiders and Biosurge of Gauntlet. They are attacked by monsters, animals, and mercenaries, all while trying to figure out if they can ever go home again. But that isn't to say they don't make any friends. Like the blind bard swordsman, Songcutter, and his giant friend Yixi. Yixi is an Armortalon, a giant creature with mystical organic metal for skin. All of this, and it's the tip of the iceberg for the action and excitement of this story. Thank you so much for turning in with me today, and I hope you'll subscribe and hit the bell for more about my works and universe. Have a wonderful day.